Teenage boys in Louisville are being targeted in a sex extortion scam that's led to explicit photos being sent to their friends and even family. WDRB's Katrina Nickel tells us how many teenagers have been victims. Katrina? Well, LMPD said more than two dozen boys, and those are just cases that have been reported. They want parents to know how this specific scheme is going down. It's something Amy Lienertz has told parents to remind their kids of before. Taking off your clothes in front of a camera is never okay. Founder of a nonprofit battling sex crimes and human trafficking, the mother urges parents of teenagers to not only monitor, but limit kids' social media. She knows families firsthand impacted by the latest sex extortion crime hitting Louisville. We've got to somehow get control, you know, as parents, on what are kids up to and what they're doing because, you know, they don't realize what's going on. They don't know the ramifications for the rest of their life. LMPD said in this extortion scheme, the conversation starts on Instagram, where the scammer will message teenage boys in Louisville pretending to be a teen girl. While on this platform, the person responsible will take pictures of the victim's followers. Then the scammer will move the conversation to Snapchat, where they will coerce the boy into sending explicit pictures of himself. Then the scammer will extort the boy and demand money. They say, we're going to send this to all of your friends on your Instagram list, um, including your other family members. And like I said, they request money in the form of cash apps and gift cards. LMPD said demands for money range from $50 to $1,000. Once the money is paid, they still release these photos. LMPD and the FBI said while this specific case targets teenage boys, any age, race, or gender is a target to sex extortion schemes. These images can never be removed, and these people are not afraid to publish those images. Leonard said if someone you know has fallen victim to a sex extortion scheme, to talk about it and seek out help. You got to think a little bit more about that because this can follow this kid the rest of their life. And it's, you know, it's a heavy burden. LMPD and the FBI believe the scheme originates overseas, which makes it more difficult to investigate. If you believe your child is the victim of a scam, call the FBI. With photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.